tell when you see these little cardboard coffins. At this point, you should probably know what they are. It's more AliExpress clone troopers. I don't know which uh, ones are in which box, uh, so we'll just go ahead and start. Uh, they have been expanding the 500 first uh, because we don't have enough of those, I guess. Uh, two of these are ones that I actually put off getting, and I'm kind of happy I did. And one of them is very new and very exciting. All right, right here we have the ones that I put off getting. Because I was originally, like, thinking I didn't really need these characters in 6-inch. But then I saw that they redid them with the new body. And also, since we're getting an official, like, Phase 1 Captain Rex. And we already have, like, a Phase 1 500 First from Black Series. I thought it'd be kind of nice to have Mixer and Red Eye in my Black Series collection. I thought that'd be pretty nice. And these are looking good. These are definitely looking good. Uh, they did do them originally with the... 2.0 body, but these are with the 3.0 body, which I think are pretty cool. So here we have Red Eye first, uh, looking nice. Is the helmet removable? Yes. Yeah, it's got the little like Rebel Pilot logo. Uh, the paint's looking a little meh. Does it scratch off easy like some of them do? No, it's not scratching off. It just doesn't look that great. We'll get a little close. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad. Seems like it has the same kind of feel as all these other AliExpress clones have. I mean, I'm not going to go over the articulation on this mold a millionth time. I'm just going to... Oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to move it, see how it's going. Uh, yeah, sometimes with these figures, they're not fully assembled, shall we say. And every once in a while, it'll have a part like the thigh pop off. Because it wasn't... See, now it's fine. It just wasn't fully attached. Yeah, all the joints seem to be moving fine. I've never had one of these 6-inch ones break on me. I've had one of the 3 and the quarter inch ones break. But never any of these 6-inch ones. So there is Red Eye. And I always remember this one's Red Eye. Because eyes are circles and it has circles on it. I don't know. That's just how I've always remembered. <laughs> uh, they did do 3 and the quarter inch figures for Mixer and Red Eye. Uh, unfortunately, they're not readily available right now. So I can't really do a comparison in this video. But uh, they did. They did a whole, like, little Toys R Us exclusive set. And you got Mixer and Red Eye, and you got, like, that spider droid. That really, like, crazy spider droid with little baby spiders. Yeah, unfortunately, Mixer and Red Eye, they basically existed in the show just to get killed off. Uh, honestly, I've always preferred Mixer's look. I always kind of liked the little, like, sickle. The blue sickle going down his helmet. I always thought that looks pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty neat little 500 first characters. Uh, they'll definitely look nice with my other 500 first phase ones. And I think I'll hold off on doing that until like the new Captain Rex comes out. I do need to address the elephant in the room. Yes, AliExpress has done a phase one Captain Rex. Will I be buying it? Probably not because Hasbro is going to do their own. It feels kind of redundant for me to have a knockoff and just to get a real one. So, because ultimately I get these to benefit my collection. These AliExpress ones, I don't get them to review every single one. If I did, I would get <laughs> way more than I do because they've done a lot of weird, wacky ones that I've never really felt like I've needed for my collection. But these ones are ones I'm very happy with. Mixer and Red Eye, especially on this 3.0 body. I mean, look at them. They look pretty superb. Uh, definitely digging it. A little iffy on the paint. A little iffy. But it's not too bad. It's nothing atrocious. Getting in a little closer, you might kind of see what I mean. I feel like Mixer got a little better off. I think Mixer is looking alright. But Red Eye, looking at the black line right there, you can see it's looking pretty sloppy at that spot. But overall, it's not too bad. It's not really any worse than what a, fa <laughs> a fascial. But overall, it's not too bad. It's nothing worse than what like official Hasbro would do. Overall, I'm pretty happy to have Mixer and Red Eye with my Black Series uh, 500 First collection. I think they're going to be very nice additions. Definitely a fan. However, I feel like these guys are not the star of this episode. I think this is the star of this episode. So I had to make a choice with getting this figure because they had two available. One I was about to order was like the proper figure, at least by name. And I was literally about to order it, but I'm like, uh, I'll wait until tomorrow. And when I went back the next day, they had changed the helmet design. And it didn't look good. 
So I'm like, well, I can't be buying this. It doesn't look right. So I had to go with option B. And I have two of them here because one is for my brother. Yes, AliExpress has done the Order 66 multi-pack Airborne 501st. <laughs> However, these are the Sniper. Uh, because the Sniper has the proper striping on the helmet. Even though the Sniper has a black, uh, the black comma. Honestly, I think the black comma looks cooler than the tan that was on the original Order 66 figure. But the Airborne Trooper, they changed it where, like, the blue stripe on the helmet was just this big, ugly, like, stripe blob. And it didn't, it didn't have the proper shapings of the 501st Airborne. Uh, so which one will be mine? Which one will be mine? Hmm. They're both looking pretty much the same. They're both looking fine. Not really seeing any significant difference or distinction between them. Uh, this one has a tiny little dot right there. So that'll be my brother's. He'll get the one with the tiny dot. <laughs> uh, yeah, my brother, he's very selective on what AliExpress clone troopers he gets. But obviously, this is an old Hasbro figure that has been given new life. Oh, whoa, look at this rifle, dude. That's sick. So he's got, like, this sn new sniper rifle. That's cool. Didn't realize he had an upgraded rifle. Now, granted, you can just give him a normal gun if you want. But I think that looks cool enough for me to probably display it with him. Unfortunately, it seems like it is having the same issue as the 212, where the helmet doesn't stay on the greatest. Because they gave him, like, this Hot Toys Cody, re like, remolded head. And it just doesn't stay on too well. I'm going to show you guys. I'm literally going to show you right now the trick that I use to keep some of these helmets on when they just absolutely will refuse to stay on. Let me introduce you to Mr. Tissue Paper. So what I do, I tear off some tissue paper. I think that should be enough. It's not an exact science, but I basically, like, wrap his head with tissue paper, kind of like this. This is, like, facial tissue. And then I kind of, like, stuff the helmet in while making sure that the tissue's not going to, like, be poking out. You can see it's, like, poking out around the back, so I can't do that. Because if it's poking out, it looks hideous. You don't want to see tissue coming out of your toy. But I literally do this for the AliExpress clones where the helmet will not stay on. I did it for my Airborne, did it for my Seleucami, and look at that. It's it's on. <laughs> like, it just, it just helps, dude. It helps, it works. Uh, I don't need to be seeing that head anyway, so. So my first impression is, wow, this thing is sick. <laughs> uh, the 212th Airborne is unironically probably going to end up in, like, my top 10 figures of the year list. Uh, and this is just as cool, if not cooler, if you're into the niche of the 501st Airborne Troopers. And I personally love the 501st Airborne Troopers. He's missing a little something. Let's give him his pouch here. Looking sick, looking sick, loving that. It's so funny, when this came out, my brother was like, oh man, I missed the DC-17 in the pouch. And I'm like, dude, shut up. Shut up, dude, that's not gonna be a thing, bro. I don't figures like this. I think he was just joking, though. I love you, bro. I mean, I got you one. I love you. I got you one. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he's watching this. All right, let's give him this cool rifle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm vibing. So this is technically the 501st Sniper. That's what this figure is. This is designated the Sniper, where the Airborne Trooper has, like, this inaccurate helmet. One thing I noticed, too, I think the Sniper has this arm mount that the three and three quarter inch figure had. So ultimately, if I'm sure you could like kit bash, take this helmet and that strap, and then like put it on the airborne. But the fact that I actually prefer the black comma to me is like, yeah, I'm just gonna get this one. Look at this design, dude. I am so mad that Dave Filoni just neglected the airborne trooper design. I think it's one of the coolest clone designs ever, ever made. And the 501st Airborne is so, so cool. I don't see Hasbro ever getting around to making this, ever. <laughs> so, I'm very happy that we have it here. Because it's looking fantastic. Look at how crisp this blue paint is. 
I swear, sometimes with with some AliExpress figures, you know, the paint's a little, a little reminiscent of good old daddy Hasbro, but every once in a while you get one where it's just, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that paint is incredible. One thing I do want to address, do these still smell? Yeah, so they still have a very, very potent PVC plastic smell. Uh, that's because AliExpress, these Veils Toys bootleg figures, they do not use the uh, odor-reducing chemicals that Hasbro toys do. Hasbro actually has to go in and reduce the odor of the plastic for their products so it is not absolutely uh, <laughs> assaulting to the nose. But Veils Toys, they don't care. They'll, you know, go ahead and just... How you just smell the PVC, and it's okay. At least I'm pretty sure it's PVC. It smells like other PVC toys that I've had in the past. Alrighty, guys. I think that's pretty much all I have to really show here today. We've got some really cool AliExpress figures uh, to add to our Black Series collection. I did also order some new 3 and 3 quarter inch clone troopers that I'm very excited to get that package. But that one... Uh, for whatever reason, didn't come today. I got my other AliExpress stuff today. Uh, so I just wanted to open them and film them and enjoy them. I absolutely adore this guy in the middle. <laughs> I highly recommend you get yourself one of those. Mixer and Red Eye, they're cool. And I really love how they're on the 3.0 body now. But if you're not really looking to expand your character collection for your Black Series clones... You can go without them. Me personally, my criteria for getting AliExpress clone troopers is that it has to be a figure that Hasbro has not done before and likely will not do, at least for the foreseeable future. Or it has to be, like, very creative or, you know, something that's like an old Hasbro figure. Uh, like this guy right here. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you collect Veils Toys Clone Troopers? If not, and you like collecting Clone Trooper figures, uh, I feel like you should. Because Veils Toys is basically keeping the Clone Trooper hobby alive at this point. They release more than Hasbro does. And they release them more frequently. So, yeah. I'm just saying, Hasbro's uh, really, really slacking. Really falling behind. Because Veils Toys, they're putting out some really great stuff. I just counted. Including these three right here. I have 33 AliExpress Black Series clones in my Black Series Clone Trooper collection. 33 now. I'm a big fan of these. <laughs> and honestly, this guy in the middle is one of my absolute favorites among them. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about these guys down in the comments below. Do you pick up Veils Toys clones? And if so, uh, what's your experience with them? Do you like them? Because I like them. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching. Special shout out to channel members, as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a great one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.